Okay, so this is the first matchup analysis for January. We will be going over what Lucas must do to win. This analysis should also help people who don't main these characters. I'll make it easy and general enough for you guys to apply this to your characters as well. Now with that being explained, let's definitely get into this John. <laughs> The neutral. The neutral is the point where both characters have the same amount of stage control, where they fish for attacks to get strings going. If you need an in-depth definition, go to Ezal's video. I'm not going to explain all that, okay? It's on the Art of Smash video. Now with Lucas, you want to keep your distance from K. Rool. Don't be running in. He throw the crown and you get smacked backwards and then you get smacked forwards. Then he runs in with a four here. Trust me, I see this all the time. So you got to be patient. Dodge until you find your way in. Once you're in, let him go crazy. Let him do whatever thing he can do. All you have to do is just punish everything he does. And I know, trust me, you want to get inside your advantage state. So use your stick. Reflect his crown. The crown is a nuisance, so you have to return that boy. And once you reflect the crown and he reads it, he'll either jump, block, or reflect it back. And when he reflects it back, for some reason, the crown breaks, which is good for you. Because now all he has is his cannon, which you can also use your tree branch on. And oh yeah, the cannon will not break if he reflects it, so it'll come straight back to you. You heard it from here, so don't be acting all crazy, do something stupid. Also, you really don't want him poking your shield. He does a lot of shield damage, so just keep that in mind. So to wrap up neutral, you either want him to approach you from all the way across the stage or you force your way in by using your stick to reflect things. This is the vanish state. Before I go into this, vanish state is when you're trying your best to get every hit you can on your opponent. Before going back to neutral, again, check Ezal's video for specifics. So now you're in a vanish state, you got the hit, and his options are restricted. You're going to have to watch out for these certain things though. Don't be going crazy on him, cause he could throw out his very thick belly. Then you have to know where his crown is at all times, so that way you can return it to him. Don't throw it, just hand it to him nicely. Oh yeah, I did tell you to stay far away, so I guess throwing it is fine. Watch for his counter, because when you're in a vanish state, you're going to want to use PK Fire to force your aggression. It's better if you wave bounce your PK Fire so it doesn't reach you when reflected. Here's something, I consistently wave bounce 100% of the time. If you need info on that, check the tab at the top. Anyway, you guys really need to watch out for K. Rule mains. They are very sneaky sometimes. They like to throw out the cannon off stage then try to suck you in. So make sure you're not using PK Thunder close to the ledge unless they are very low close to the blast zone. Oh yeah, and speaking of PK Thunder, this is what you use to edge guard K. Roll off stage. The reason why this is your best option is because it keeps you from having any contact with the crocodile's propeller. K. Rolls love to recover low. so. You throw out PK Thunder, push them closer to the left or right blast zone, then they'll be forced to take some love from Lucas. K. Rool, I love you. I love you. I love you. And this is something for you guys to watch out for. K. Rool's love to throw out the crown when they come in contact with the stage, when they're off stage. So avoid it by jumping and using PK Thunder, or just, just avoid the crown altogether and then use PK Thunder. Wrapping this section up, you want to use the crown to limit his options and use it to kill him. Watch out for his belly, counter and all. Watch out for the sneakiness and use PK Thunder to make him recover the wrong way. Disadvantage state. Basically, K. Roll is in your face trying to combo you big time and you need to reset neutral. That's what disadvantage state means. Anyway, K. Rool is really good at keeping his opponents in disadvantage. His grab range as well as his armor makes it hard to reset neutral. And one thing I want to say is that Lucas' disadvantage state is not the best. And when you're getting comboed, you want to utilize air dodges because K. Rool's up air has more priority than your down air. So 
for the most part, do just don't challenge him. And then use Magnet to mix up your landing, just don't fall down. And I kinda would say also use PK Thunder, but I'm still testing that myself, so that may not be a good idea. Now while you're off stage, here are some of the things to watch out for. Some aggressive K rules will go off stage and try to hit you with a forward air or a down air. So either recover very low or use your rope snake. And once you're on the ledge, you know what they go for. They go for the suction. And let me tell you, this ledge trap is nowhere near as bad as the bell mouse ledge trap, but it can catch you off guard. And definitely if you're on a stage with platforms like Battlefield, you have to watch out for this trick. Also watch out for the spacing of the move as well. Sometimes it's good for just get up attack, sometimes it's good for roll, maybe it's good for jump. When you get experience with the matchup, you'll be able to distinguish which get up option is the best at the moment. Stages. I would say go for Battlefield. Yeah, go to Battlefield. It's your best bet with Lucas versus K. Rool. It's generally harder for people to land on Battlefield because of the platforms. On a stage like Final Destination, he'll just be able to land with his armor easier. So choose your stage wisely, you need platforms. Watch out for his trick though, I told you about this already. So don't act crazy when they do it. Okay, time to wrap this up. First, big shout out and huge thanks to the K Royal player, Plague Von Karma. He helped me gather most of the footage, so I really appreciate that. Guys, check him out on Twitter, at Plague Von Karma. It will be in the description below. But my thoughts on this matchup is that it's in Lucas' favor. Not a huge lead, I would say maybe 60 40 or 70 30. This is how to beat K Rule. If you guys have noticed I didn't mention something, tell me in the comment section. I'm signing out, so like, comment, subscribe, and remember, guys, it's the thought that counts. See you next time.